Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Safi. This is and Sol. I'm Sol. <laughs> um, we're doing a little hotel room get ready with us. We're currently in Marrakesh. Do you feel like I should prop the camera up a bit more? Yeah. Better. Winning. Yeah. So we're in Marrakesh right now uh, for a wedding and we are very excited to be here. It's actually so beautiful. It's stunning. It's stunning. It's my first time in Marrakesh, Sol's second time. Definitely. And I think if you're staying here, if you're visiting, the hotel's very important. Yeah. I Really I mean, important. Like, comparing it to my last trip, like, I stayed in a Riyadh. Mm -hmm. Is it Riyadh? With a a Riyadh. A Riyadh. Yes. And it was an amazing experience. But I think I'm more of a resort girl. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Wait, I feel like I need to close this door a bit to get rid of that light. So, sorry if you can see, see our us. mess. <laughs> see us in the background. Okay, today we're gonna be answering your questions about us and also just general dilemmas that you've sent us. We're gonna be doing that whilst we're getting ready, so we'll talk you through what we're using too. But before we get into it, please, please, please like this video, leave a comment. I actually wanna hear from you guys. I always respond to comments. I think they should write their own dilemmas as mm -hmm. well. If and we can any. answer them in the next in the video. Or even in the comments, we can get Ooh. to them. Oh, sorry guys, how's <laughs> Okay, so let's get into it. Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. 90% of you who watch my, I think like, not 90%, but half of you at least who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would mean so much to me if you did. And me. <laughs> what are you putting on? This is a Forever Dior. It's a matte foundation. I really like matte because my skin's really greasy, which is fantastic because I don't get wrinkles. I've got combo skin, I feel. Okay, someone's written, tips on how to act or behave with a toxic mother-in-law that controls, that wants to have all her control. I know this. Go on. Ignore. What do you mean? Just ignore. Whatever they do, you will be better ignoring. You would be the classier one. You'd be very demure. <laughs> very mindful. Very mindful. But ignore them because unintentionally you'll be pissing them off as well. What, by ignoring them? By ignoring But like she doing. wants to have control. I'm using the It Cosmetics CC cream by the way. Medium tan. Um, the girl who's written in said her mother-in-law wants control. I feel like that's a hard one, isn't it? Because what does she want control over? Her is son. It, is it her son or is it like you guys' life together? What he's up to? Maybe it's like your kids. Like what does she want control over? I think sometimes it's clever to maybe make them think that they're in control. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe give them a little bit of something but then end up doing your own thing anyway like with politeness so just be like let's say she's like oh i think you should uh you know live in Hampstead, for example rather than looking for oh, a really? house yeah, okay. <laughs> rather than looking for a house in maida vale for example you could tell me that's actually such a good idea i'm gonna look into it and i'm gonna tell my uh real estate agent that we should look for perhaps but also like that. and then just don't do it you know? But also bear in mind, like put yourself in their shoes as well. Like a little bit of empathy goes a long way. Like how would you feel if you were the mother-in-law in that situation? Like try and see where they're coming from. Uh, guys, I'm using, is it pronounced Jouer? 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 Jouer Cosmetics. And it is their concealer in cappuccino, but I use it as a contour. Sorry, I've just changed the setting on the camera because it was... Too bright. Setting and too bright. So the next quote, the next question I've got is quotes or sayings that help you in hard times. I actually really like that question. I would say mine is in nis bogzarad, which means I knew that was yours. This too shall pass. So whether you're in a good time, be aware that like you should make the most of it because it will pass. And when you're in a bad time, you should always remember that the bad time won't last. So just to take it in your stride and quote, like deal with it the best you can. What about you? Do you have one for hard times? I think mine is the same because we've been taught that since we were so young. Yeah. That this too shall pass. Yeah. My dad in general is like quite a philosophical man. Even my mum, like in like they, they always talk to us in quotes. I remember yeah. when I was I studying I know my favourite one. I will tell you after. When I was studying for GCSEs and I would like 
become a bit overwhelmed, my mum would be like, yeah, which means essentially, it literally translates to um, have one year of struggling with bread and water and the rest of your life you'll have bread and butter, which essentially means like your tare short... is her herb. Oh, sorry. I thought it was nune kare. No, nune tare, ye un bukhur nune kare. Okay, well essentially, yes. either way, it's trying to say that like a, a sacrifice for a short amount of time can have a big reward. So like keep that in your perspective if you're going through a tough time in terms of like working really hard on something. I'm using Seppi's Hourglass Concealer. My favorite one is Har Vakh Mahi Az Ab Begiri Tazas. What does that mean? Which is whenever you catch the fish, it's fresh, meaning it is never too late. I love that actually. Yeah. It's, it is never too late. Someone has said, How are you all so positive? What is the secret? The secret is the secret, guys, <laughs> for me personally. And also our parents. Our parents are very positive. They have a very positive mindset. But I read The Secret a couple of years ago, maybe a couple of decades ago, and it changed my life. And whenever I feel like I move away from positivity, I go back to The Secret again and reread it. Yeah. I think The Secret is definitely up there for me as well in terms of, for those of you who don't know, The Secret essentially says that the key to being happy in your life and getting anything you want is by manifesting in it and believing that it will happen for you. And whenever, I like I like that. I also like, there's Dr. Joe Dispenza who I keep harping on about recently, but he always talks about essentially in quantum physics and parallel universes, how what you want is going on right now and that you need to align yourself and visualize what it is that you want. And you need to be able to get to the point where you can visualize it with your eyes open so start by meditating with your eyes shut and with your eyes open and that way you will bring what you want into the world because if you believe that it exists then you it can happen but also you don't if you don't have intention and you don't start your day with intention and like you you like you're not going to get into a car wanting like not knowing where you want to go right you need you focus get into, and direct you get into your car knowing you want to go to work or you want to go to a shopping center or you want to go see your friends so i feel like in that sense, like you need to think of your manifestation and what you want from your life the same. Like you can't be like, oh, I think I want a partner. But then if someone asks you, what are you looking for in a partner? You don't actually have anything in, in mind of what it is that you find important in a partner, you know, because then you're not going to find what you're looking for. You need to be able to exactly visualize what it is that you're looking for so that you recognize it when it comes and you can bring it to you when it comes. Talking about manifestation, I can't show you this. It's Did forever. You see my beauty blender? I have. Thank you. It is a Dior Forever Glow Maximizer and I use it as a highlighter. Talking about my um, meditation, a lot of people find it hard to meditate. It's not that difficult if the basic of it for me is inhale count to four whilst you're inhaling hold that inhale for four seconds count it and then exhale for four seconds and if you concentrate on doing this you'll realize that it's only this that you're focusing on and that's ultimately what meditation is it's uh, clearing your mind yeah so when Saul says that she means You know, so like count it in your head. I couldn't breathe and count for you guys. I was hoping Sol would do that. Sorry, Sorry. she didn't understand. This. Sorry, I didn't get the assignment. <laughs> guys, how cute is this Laura Mercier baby setting powder? So I got it in one of my advent calendars. Can we talk about your advent calendar obsession? Because those of you who don't follow Sol on Instagram, she has already unboxed her first advent calendar, which was from Liberty London, and is currently unboxing a second one every day from Harrods. She was like to me, do you think I could get the space in Cape on? And I was like, how are you going to justify to yourself spending over a thousand, a thousand pounds on advent calendars? If you had got, I know, if you'd gone out and individually bought everything, obviously you would have spent way, way more, but like, you're not even gonna go through all those products okay. in a year. Let me tell you, so, um, the last two years, my ex-boyfriend bought me the Liberties Advent Calendar and one of the things I was upset about was, oh, I'm actually going to miss that tradition. 
And I thought, well, I could buy it for myself. It was like a light bulb moment where I was like, actually, I could purchase this for myself. When you I said it's a light bulb moment, I just could hear you saying, I can buy myself now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I could actually do it myself. I don't need anyone to buy it for me. It doesn't need to be a gift. So I bought the Liberties one. This is a 10 out of 10, by the way, guys. I, I really agree. like it. So I bought the Liberties one. And then I bought the Harrods one after. And I thought, why am I waiting till Christmas to unwrap this? I get so happy like doing it every morning, a little gift every morning. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do one every month. So I opened one in September. Then I opened one in, um, when did I open? And now I'm opening the October one, which is the Harrods one. And my- Which one is better so far, by the way? Liberties. Really? Yeah, definitely. That being said, Sign has bought the, it hasn't come yet, but she's bought the Space and K one. Yeah. And that actually looks like, the contents of it looks really good. Like most items are full size in there. I think that's one thing that's annoying about advent calendars is like they're actually just ripping you off half the time and giving you like tiny size stuff. So. Samples, but, but this is not the case. Yeah, but for the, some of the newer brands, are, well, some of the old school brands who've been around are catching on to the fact that people are catching on to that. So they're like, actually making it worth people's while, which I think is good. I heard the Howard's perfume one was not great this year. Oh, really? Yeah. It was just like... I think I watched a TikTok review yeah, about me that. Too. Oh, you watched a TikTok review on it? I love that. Guys, they have this really nice jasmine herbal Moroccan tea here, which I'm loving. I was kind of tempted to just take some home with me. I'm going to ask them to bring me some. Someone's asked us, where do you find decent men to date? I don't know, but if you find them, please give them my home address, my work address, <laughs> my email, my Instagram. I don't agree with you, and I think we both know the answer to this. I think you find good guys to date by being introduced to them or yes. meeting them through friends. I think that's probably the best way. And maybe being a bit more like telling your friends maybe like what you're looking for. Because I always set up people as well. Like as in I'm Me always too. thinking like, who do I know that's good for you? Because I feel like people who I surround myself with are good people. That's why I surround myself with them. And like good people should meet good people and be happy together and stuff, you know? And if it doesn't work out, which I've had happen as well, no one's ever been like to me, why did you set me up with that person? Like if anything, they're always grateful that I've thought of them and that like, I think that they should go out with my friend, you know, like as in, it's a nice thing to do. So if you know people set them up with, with your single friends, and if you don't, if you're single and you don't know anyone, maybe like ask your friends or your family, like, do you know anyone who you think would be good for me? Or I think that in general, that's like probably the best way to meet people and how I've met people that I get along with. What was that? <laughs> that was like a... Oh. Um, even you, right? Yeah, definitely. I feel like that's exactly what internet dating is trying to do, right? It's trying to do from an algorithm, find people who they think you would get along with, can live relatively close to, have some like faith in common or wanting to have kids or like... I like, like the hobbies. idea of internet dating, Seppi. I really like the idea for people who work all the time, who have no means of meeting people. It's brilliant. However, it has kind of just become online shopping yeah you're not even looking for you forget your intention like oh am i actually getting to know people today you forget why you're doing it and you're judging everyone by a couple of photos and a couple of comments that's and that's your why perception I've, yeah of those. that's why i've never made an internet dating profiles because i can't i don't think i can get to like bring myself to be bothered to get to know someone like via messaging i feel like i have connections with people like face to face and in real life what do you think of my makeup so far you do I, this I met both my last partners through internet dating do you recommend they were lovely people who just didn't work out we weren't compatible no do you recommend like online dating then yeah but i think have your intentions clear mm. and don't waste a lot of time talking to people via WhatsApp or messaging, because what you're reading is 
your translation of it, not actually how they are. So you end up building an image in your mind that could be far from reality. Yeah, that makes sense. And you don't know you're wasting time. One of my friends, he told me this. He was like, Sol, you need to be speaking to a lot of people and going on a lot of different dates and just eliminating. I can't actually do that. But that was a male perception, a male how perspective. Me? Perspective. Yeah, I don't think I could do that either. I can, guys. This was a NYX one, and this was a natural collection. Oh, can I try that one? Because it looks really nice on you, actually. Thank you. Yeah, I couldn't date um, loads of people at once. I can barely date one person at <laughs> once. No, that's a lie. If I really like you, you're getting my time, but not more than one person because I want to be able to actually focus on what's going on. Yeah, and I think someone deserves your full attention just like you deserve someone's full attention. Guys, this is the Laura Mercier. Sorry, it's not. It's the Le Mer Lip Gloss. Someone said, do you think a long distance relationship is worth it? No, I can't comment. It depends on the relationship. Have you ever been in a long distance relationship? In situationship, maybe. In getting to know them, but the distance worked against us. I like the person to be there. I like them, you know. I personally think that if you know that you're going to ultimately end up in the same location, like it's clear from the start, then go for it. Or if you guys started off strong together and then that person's moved but you do think that you're going to ultimately go and move and be with them then yes but i think starting off a relationship where both of you are on other sides of the world and no one's made it clear if you're going to ever be hanging out with each other is a waste of your time um you need to essentially have a plan because it's hard to make an effort with someone that you're not in love with yet do you know what i mean like you need to be in love with them and then even when you're in love with them when you have an argument you can't really go and see them and make up and have chats and stuff everything is always like online or on FaceTime. Saying that, Seppi, recently I had a patient in, the cutest man, and he wanted like his teeth cleaned and whitened because he was going to Japan to meet his girlfriend of a year for the very first time. They met in a gaming room. Stop. And that actually sounds very romantic. Yes. That it's romantic that they're already boyfriend and girlfriend, they haven't met. What if they don't like each and other? Then, I think if they've gone past that, they FaceTime every day and, you know, they're already a lot of pressure plans. the first time. I can't remember who's moving where, but one of them's moving in April. That is, that is very sweet, but that's a lot of pressure when you first meet, like, what if he, he thinks I'm not as fun in real life or... And then you've got to message your best friend to tell them, and your best friend is that person because you've been messaging that him. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's so true. Guys, I'm going for a very natural look. I think we're gonna finish our makeup. I'm just doing some blush with the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek in Ecstasy. And my mascara, which is the benefits, they're real. And then we'll come back to you when we're dressed to show you our final look. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you our outfits, but bear in mind that my friend is giving me, I think it's called a Jalabia when we get there. So this is our final makeup in the sunlight. You're very silent, Sol. You're like a mirror. Yeah? Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, but let me I'm show not you. I'm even hungry. I'll like... show you Sol's outfit. Hold on. Outfit from Zara. But it's actually from Natalie's wardrobe. Yeah, my best friend Nat. We love like sharing clothes with each other, and so this is Natalie. She lent this to us for this I trip. Think that I'm too. Sophie chose this for me, but I think I'm too naked, so I do have something different in but my I think bag. you look very cool and you look Moroccan because you're wearing gold let's see yeah you should you should wear this for sure you look beautiful this is my provisional outfit I'm wearing a uh, Shara Ruby's Ibiza dress that I got last summer and my pink Anna sandals I've literally got two sandals on this trip one pair of trainers and one pair of heels for the first time ever I have an overpacked and I'm happy about it. Um, you look yeah, stunning. The, the jalebi, I think you that she's going to give me is blue. Guys, I hope, well, we hope. We hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to, if you haven't already, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and press the like button. Don't wrinkle. Thank you for watching. <laughs>